What's up guys, Hong for OG Fitness. And you guys aren't gonna believe this, but this is the third time I'm doing this video. The first time I had a notification on and it cut off the damn video. So that sucked, but I wasn't too far into it. And then the second time I ran out of space and I was far into it. I was like already halfway done. So this is kind of, this is the third time I'm doing this. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I'll get over it. I'll, I'll live. I'll live. Okay. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a little home workout. I prepped for one of my clients, Tammy, this is for you. Okay. Uh, it's a four day split. Okay. So we're doing upper body two times a week, lower body two times a week. And then, uh, every other day we're doing cardio. So cardio, means that uh well you can take a walk outside okay and uh i know like the weather just kind of sucks right now because of the snow and all that but you have a bike at home so you're gonna use the bike right for an hour <laughs> yeah, that's funny okay so let's start with um lower body day one okay so oh just uh for you other people out there when I make programs, well, you know, obviously I take it, I, I know my clients, so I know what they can do and what they can't do. And also like, I find out what kind of equipment they have and then I base it off that, okay? And uh, yeah, that's it. And also I'm not wearing a shirt because I rarely wear a shirt in my videos. Uh, it's to show off and yeah, that's it, to show off, okay. <laughs> All right, so let's get back into it. Uh, okay, lower body day one, all right? So what you do, Tammy, is that you start off 10 minutes on your bike because you have a bike, so you warm up 10 minutes, break a sweat, right? I always say that in the gym, break a sweat. If you're not breaking a sweat, you're not really warmed up. After that, you're gonna do, and this is a really simple day. You're gonna do 200 squats, air squats, body weight, okay? So now, you don't have to do I know you won't, you won't be able to, most people can't do 200. Well, I could probably do 200 one shot, but I'd be pretty fucking dead afterwards. But okay, so you do as much as you can. Let's say if it's, uh, if it's 50, then it's 50, you take a little breather, okay? But as soon as you can, you go again, okay? The idea is to get through the 200 as fast as possible, but not doing it as fast as possible, okay? You gotta keep a steady pace. So not too goddamn slow and not too friggin' fast, okay? So I'll, I'll demonstrate what I mean. And to keep count, by the way, take a pen, paper, and write it down. Like let's say you get to 50, write 50, then let's say you do another five, okay, you write 55, and so on. You might have to do a little bit of math. If you keep the numbers round, it'll be much easier for you. So watch. Okay, simple squat, there you go. Push your hips back, right? And keep your lower back straight, there you go. So not like, Okay, and not like super slow because if you do it too fast, it takes away the benefit of, well, the exercise. And if you do it too goddamn slow, you're gonna burn out. You'll never get to 200. It'll take you like forever, okay? So just do it at a steady pace. So steady pace means something to this effect, okay? About one second down, one second up. Trust me, 200, okay? Good for you, okay? That's lowered, uh, lower body day one. And after that, you have to do 30 minutes of cardio. So the 30 minutes of cardio, you either do it right away on the bike or take a walk outside, or you could do it later uh, in the evening if you did this in the morning. I always split it up. In the morning, I work out. In the evening, I work out again. What else you got to do? You're in quarantine. Okay, so back to lower body day number dose. Spin bike, you spin bike again. Uh, well, I call it a spin bike, but stationary bike. 10 minutes, warm up, break a sweat like always. And now, these are the two exercises I want you to do. So you're gonna do split squats and you're gonna do sumo squats. So, split squats, simply like this. Okay? And of course, don't keep your feet, right. like if your feet are lined up, you won't be able to keep your balance. You have to shoulder width, Okay, shoulder width, and then take a step out like this. All right, so you're not like this. I hope that makes sense. I know the camera thing is not the best, but whatever, I'll fix it eventually. Okay, so either you have your hands on your hips here, okay, or you can have them, just put them here for now, up and down. 
okay? Don't bang your knees, go down as low as you can, but don't bang your knees, okay? Up and down like that, so you do 20. Now, once you do 20, you switch sides, and from here, you do another 20, okay? And then you rest for a minute, and you do that two more times, two more sets. Now, if that's too easy, then what I want you to do is use the weights, okay? So you have two five, uh, two five pound dumbbells, you can start with that, watch. Now, ah, there they are. I moved them around because this is the third time I'm doing this damn video. Okay, so the dumbbells, you hold them to the side here and you go up and down. Or you can hold them, no, don't do this. Or you can hold just one dumbbell like this or like this, I'll show you. Like that, right? Or like that, doesn't matter. And then come up and down. Right? Boom. Boom. So, three sets of 20 on each side. A minute rest. You're done with that. Then after that, you're going to do sumo squats. So, sumo squats is the same thing. You do three sets of 20, right? Now, you can use weights or just your body weight. Uh, I say start with your body weight for both exercises. When, you get, uh, when it gets easy, then you let me know. And we'll uh, lighter add weight or I'll make you do like extra sets or reps or whatnot, I'll decide from there. Okay, so, sumo squat. Keep your feet, not pointed straight, but duck feet, duck feet. Because the idea is to get, to get the inner thigh and the, the glutes right here. So you come down, put your hands like this. I find it's much more comfortable. Up and down, squeeze your glutes. So, remember, it's not about going up and down fast. And it's not about going too slow too. But if you have an option, I'd rather you go slow, but keep it at a steady pace. Up in one, down in one, more or less. Now, on, from the side, it looks like this. Remember, my feet are duck, they're pointed out, okay? And squeeze at the top, okay? If you're feeling it in your inner thigh and your glutes, you're doing it right. If you're not, you're doing it wrong. So, but you know this, you've done this before. Okay, on to the next one. Oh, after this, 30 minutes of cardio, yeah. So ideally, it's nice outside, go take a walk, okay? If there's no walking, guess what? You're on the bike. Okay, next. Okay, upper body day, number one, okay? So stationary bike again, 10 minutes, warm up. Then after that, we're gonna do two little warm up exercises for your shoulders. Okay, so you're gonna grab your five pound dumbbells. And, like this, so you have it here. I want you to bring it up. Okay, do that 15 times, just to warm up the shoulders. And from there, this is the second exercise. You're gonna hold it like this, right? Look at the angle, okay? And you're gonna open up. So, you're not pushing out like that, okay? You're keeping your elbows as close as you can to your body. They're gonna go, they're gonna go away from your body naturally, but just try to keep it that way. Okay? 15 times like that. Show you how it looks from the back. Fifteen times, right? And that's it. You're done, you're warmed up. Now you're gonna grab your 10 pound dumbbells. Okay? So let's imagine this is my 10 pound dumbbells, because I only got 20s and that's heavy. I don't want to do it right now. It's not that heavy, but okay. So bent over row. So keep your lower back straight. Push your butt back. Okay, you gotta lean over. Your chest has to be over your toes. If they're not over your toes and you're like this, you're a little bit too high. And I want you to pull. Bring your elbows back. So now I don't want them like this. I want your elbows as close to your body as possible. All right. Now look at my hands here. Why don't you keep them like this, and then you rotate them afterwards, and you bring them back like that, that's fine. Or if you wanna keep them like that, it doesn't matter. Okay, I like to do, I have this habit of doing it like this, where you get a better stretch too if you do it like this. So if my, if my knuckles are facing forward, and then when I bring them up, I rotate them, bring them like that, that's okay too. So, how many sets did I give you? Yeah, you're gonna do five sets of 20. Yeah, so five sets of 20, one minute rest in between, okay? So what you do is, you're here, 
Keep your back straight so you're not like this, doing this shit, all right? Like this, and you pull. One, two, remember, you can pull up fast, but I want you to control it at least two seconds on the way down. So you can go like this, and then slow it down on the release. So you do that 20 times, you rest, rest a minute, do it again. Five times like that, five sets of 20. And after that, you're gonna grab your 10 pounds and you're gonna press off the floor, okay? Not like, that. I'll show you, give me a second. Okay, so now, you come here and you grab your 10 pounds and right here, you bring it down. Okay, I don't want your elbows flared out all the way up here. It has to be down here, okay? A little bit diagonal between right in between your ribs and right here like your your head so to speak on the side so you're here push up when it's up it has to be above your eye when it's down it's not like this it's like this okay push up right so do that 20 times and then you're done so then you rest and you do that five times, five sets of 20, all right? Then guess what? You're done, done, done. After that, it's uh, your cardio. So you gotta go do your cardio afterwards, right? So either you do it right after or you do it in the evening. Up to you, doesn't matter, okay? Uh, da -da -da. Okay, so now we're gonna go down to upper body day number two. So number two, spin bike, 10 minutes. Get that done, break a sweat, boom. After that, you're gonna do the two same exercises uh, for your shoulders to warm up. So you do this thing here, and after that, you do this thing here, right? And then from there, this is what I want you to do. So the first exercise, grab the five pounds, okay? The 10 pounds is gonna be a bitch. It's gonna be way too heavy, like. Okay, so, watch. Bit lower here. I want you to bring this up and then, well, I'm in a splits position because that's how the camera is, you know? If I stand like this, well, actually, yeah, that's good too. Okay, so up, all right, up in front, bring it down, side. Now remember, when you bring it down, when you, when you swing it up like this, well, don't swing it, but because if you're swinging, you're like here, just bring it up, okay? On the way down, slow it down. So you're not like this. You know? You could up fast, slow on the way down. Fast on the effort if you want, and slow. Fast and slow on the release. Fast on the effort, slow on the release. So you do this 20 times, and this is, you count every one as one, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, and so on until you get to 20. Then you rest, uh, you rest a minute, you can do five sets of that, yeah, five sets. Five sets of 20 repetitions, rest about a minute, boom, done. Okay, next one, watch, you're gonna do flies, okay? You're gonna do bent over flies like this, and you're gonna hold them here, and then, like a bird, but not too here, okay? More in the back. Keep your lower back straight so it looks like this. Oh. Right? So, three sets of, oh, sorry. Five sets of 20. Anyways, I sent you the program already, so you know. But five sets of 20, one minute rest. Done! 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 That's it. After that, cardio. So, your cardio, either you do it right away at the end, or you just uh, don't do it right away, do it later, okay? So you could either do the cardio, like I said, uh, outside, you walk in when the weather permits, or if you like walking in the snow with big boots and shit, uh, or you do the bike, right? Okay, so now regarding, uh, da, 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 da. okay, you can't do two, two uh, lower body days back to back like if you do lower body on day on monday then the next day 
okay? Don't do lower body again, right? Like do either upper body or just take that day and do cardio, okay? So in total, so you could do lower body, upper body, lower body, upper body, and then there's three days left, you do cardio, okay? Or you could do something to the effects of uh, lower body, okay? Cardio, then uh, upper body, and then cardio, and so on. You could split it out like that, but the important thing is that you hit each muscle group at least, um, well, at least twice a week, each big muscle group, right? So your lower body and your upper body. Now, and the days that you do cardio, remember, it's one hour of cardio, okay? So you gotta walk, or you gotta bike, and um, that's it. You're gonna see it's gonna make a big difference. Obviously, nutrition, we're gonna talk about it, probably make another video uh, regarding nutrition, but not for you specifically, because we'll talk about that you know, over the phone. But we're gonna, just for everybody, general guidelines, you know, people tend to forget and stuff like that. But you know, like, I'm ripped like this, like 365 days a year. Uh, and I have to get used to eating that way because I, I can actually gain, uh, I can get fat like in a month, you know, if I just eat whatever I want to eat and have no self-control. But also like I move a lot and I have enough like relatively a lot of muscle for my height and my frame and all that. So my metabolism is higher than most people, right? Who don't have enough, uh, but it's not natural in the sense that because I have muscle and to some degree it's genetic but you know whatever okay so that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, anyone else who's not Tam you guys could try this too right it might be simple but the truth is you don't need to overcomplicate things like uh, when you watch on YouTube and stuff like that and and on Instagram and all that man these people are jumping around doing all kinds of fucking crazy shit but the truth is like not everyone can do that okay and also, you don't need to do that. I mean, it's fun, sure, but I mean, it comes at a risk too. First of all, you have to be able to do it. Uh, you don't have you know, injuries and all that. And honestly, you could do the most basic ass shit and get in, like I do like, you know, you guys see me sometimes maybe in my, um, on IG. If you guys don't follow me on IG, by the way, you should. That's where I post all the fun, uh, I wouldn't say fun stuff, but stuff that I do on a regular basis. Cause you know, like I'm, uh, Sometimes it's like videos that last like a, a couple of seconds, a minute, 30 seconds, whatever. So I just, you know, so I can do fancy shit if I wanted to, but I don't. Like my workouts, they are basic, basic, basic. After that, like all the fancy shit is done in judo. It's not done in, in, in exercising, you know? You don't need that. You really don't, you know? Like you lift weights, you do some cardio. Of course, if you want to, if you're doing it because you want to have fun, that's a different story. But if uh, you don't, you don't need to do this type of workout, like highly complex, super compound, like trying to do like fucking uh, uh, the whole goddamn body at the same time, you know, some crazy shit. Like, wait, wait, I'm going to show you some crazy shit. All right. So you're doing like you would do some crazy shit. Like you lunge, you do this, you do this, you do this. After that, you jump. After that, you, you swing the, fan, the thing around. And then after that, you do a backflip and shit. Like what the fuck? You know? So anyways. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just having a little bit of fun. Okay, so that's what I mean. You don't need to get complicated just for the sake of getting complicated. It's not actually gonna make you any better. It's not gonna improve your gains, okay? It doesn't, okay? So anyways, I'll talk more on that as we go along. I mean, it's such a fun subject, all this fitness shit. So, all right, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. So follow me on IG. Was it OG? Oh, OG Fit 79. Okay. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, share, comment, subscribe, click on the notification bell and help me grow the channel. And so you notify too when I make videos and shit. Yeah. <laughs>